international superstar and the best-selling female country artist of all time. She sold more than 75 million albums worldwide. And won 13 Junos and 5 Grammys. Last year, Shania went on tour to promote her new book she wrote after personal heartbreak. Because I've gotten to the point where I really can't sing anymore. At the time, she had lost her ability to sing, and she feared she would never perform again. But now, she's back and ready to take the stage for the first time in eight years. And not just any stage, the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Shania in her new Vegas home as she gets ready to launch her show. You are here. You are in Las Vegas. This whole big show kind of begins now, even though it's not until December 1st, but you're here, you've been working on the show, and everybody now knows Shania Twain's in Vegas. How does it feel? Well, I feel very welcome. Uh, that I can say, you know, everybody's been really terrific and, and made me feel at home and, and my like family at home. Right so that was a big like concern of mine. It, it's been years since I've been on the road with my son, right? So yeah. that's, um, that was a bit of a concern for me. You would have had that conversation with Asia and, and what was his first reaction when he said, this is what we are thinking of doing? You know, I said, we're going to be um, spending some time in Las Vegas and, you know, you're not going to be there for very long periods of time, but you are going to have to be away from your friends for a little bit, but we're going to go back and forth and, well, I don't want to leave my friends. You know, he, he's not accustomed um, to the road life and my right. professional life because I stopped the road life when he was only three and a half. So he's adjusting, but he, you know, now that he's 11, to be honest, you know, he's got a you know maturity about him. It's good timing, and it was a big reason as well. You know, I'm deciding to do Vegas because I thought, well, this is going to be the biggest opportunity for me to put on um, my version of what is my dream show to get really involved creatively and create something that I know I wouldn't be able to create if it was moving on tour. And you're not just a little bit involved. You are front to back, hours a day. I heard from a number yeah. of people like you <laughs> are this show. It's not just you performing. Yeah, no, I'm hands on. The, when uh, the show really is, it's an entire show I experience from in every way. We um, had an opportunity to speak to Celine Dion as well. And of course she had this big show in Vegas and then came back and you know, we, we think it's great, two Canadian great women that bring people from all over the world to this city is pretty yeah, spectacular. It is. It's really something special. I don't, I feel very honored myself personally. Celine, she was really at the inception of the concept of the resident artist here in Vegas. I'm proud of her, you know, alone, on her own, as an individual, of, of doing what she did here. And then to be able to join her, I feel more like I'm joining her really than anything. With celebrity and success, um, years away from it for a little bit anyway, but you were always still a celebrity um, and always a success. Shania Twain never went away in people's car radios and in their homes. Um, is, is there a price that you think you've paid for celebrity? Definitely. I think that you're, that I cannot speak for other celebrities, but I would say that there has certainly been a price to pay in my life for celebrity, for sure. I mean, you, um, it's so much so fast. Celebrity is something that is a really giant big thing that you can't even imagine mm -hmm. until you're in it. And how you cope with it depends on who you're surrounded by, you know, your own personality. And where you came from. Where you came from, what your expectations were. Uh, there's so many factors, but, you know, I, I coped fairly well. I mean, I didn't, I didn't become a drug addict or, you know, I didn't, I lived through it. Let's put it that way. But it had, it, it, it takes its toll. It's difficult. I don't know how much the show is going to evolve or how this works, but do you invite people down the road? Is there people that you'd like to perform with down the road that you haven't had a chance to? 
I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I, I was able to see, finally, I was able to see Elton John's show here and, uh, you know, go backstage and, and see him before he left, before I came in. Yeah. So that transition was very nice. I'd love to get back on stage with him again. We did, we were able to do that one time. I don't know, you know, the, I, there's a lot of people I'd love to get up on stage with. Um, I've never been on stage with Celine, I'd love to do that sometime. Uh, oh, we'd love that. And, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how you'd ever get all of us here all at one time, but I haven't really thought that far ahead. Like, I gotta get myself on that stage first. Well, <laughs> absolutely. Shania Twain, <laughs> still the one. Congratulations on the tour and Thank on you. this show. This is just fantastic. Thank you so much. Great to be able to spend some Thank time you. with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The full interview with Shania, you can watch W5 this Saturday night at 7 o'clock on CTV for Vegas Girls with world-exclusive interviews with both Celine Dion and Shania Twain. Up next on the show, two all-star chefs.